Hi everyone and welcome to tutorial number 8 of the Learn Java for Beginners course. In this video we are going to be learning about the basics of Java arrays and lists. So first create a new project and start up your engine um, and type in your main method. As you can see I already have my main method ready and typed up. So once you're done typing up your main method we're ready to start. To start. So there are a few ways that you can create a new array or list in Java. There's not just one way, but at the start of this video, so right now I'm just going to teach you the main, the main or most common way to create an array in Java. And then at the end of this video, just before I end the video, um, I'm going to teach you about the other few ways that you can create an array. So for now, let's just get started on the main way. Let's say you want to um, keep Let's say you want to make an array and make an array or make a list of a bunch of numbers. So numbers are integers and um, so the data type of numbers are integers and that is why when we're starting an array we type in ints because the elements of our list are going to be integers. So you have ints, square brackets, um, and then you have the name of your array. We're going to name ours, our array, my array. Um, and then you have the equal sign is so then int square brackets my array is equal to new int and in these brackets you're going to type in the number of elements that you want in your list let's say we want five elements in our list so again end this with a semicolon um let's say you want five elements in your list this is how you create a new element for your list using this creation code um, so if you s decide to create your array using this line of code, then you add on elements of your array like this. My array, so the name of your array, zero, is equal to, and then what, and then here you type in the element, what your element is. Let's say, um, our first element is element number one, is one. Then we keep doing this over and over again. My array um, one is equal to two, and we keep doing this over and over again. So if you're wondering why we numbered element number one as zero is because um, all programming languages, most programming languages are like that. Instead of starting their numbers, instead of numbering their elements from one to, let's like from one and on, like one, two, three, four, five, they start it from zero, like one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So if we run this, um, let's just save it. But when we run this, nothing will happen because we're not telling it to print anything. Let's say that we want to pick out a specific um, one of these elements. Let's say we want to pick out element number three. Then you have the print statement system system dot out dot print line, um, and then you type in the name of your array, my array, and you type in the number of your element. Um, so most people would say that, oh, so this is the third number of the element. So this is the third element of the list. So we'll just type in three here. But no, as I just said, um, as I just said right now, programming languages start numbering their lists from zero. So this would be zero, one, two. So you type in two, not three. This is a common mistake made while um, dealing with lists and arrays and programming languages. But anyway, we're just going to quickly save this and run it. And as you can see, it printed out three because the computer saw that you told the computer to print out um, the second element of my array. And then it sees that this is the zeroth element, this is the first element, and this is the second element. So then it finds out what the second element is, which is three, and it prints it out. So before we end our video, um, I'm, I told, I'm going to teach you the other two ways that you can um, create a new array list. I'm not going to go into detail like this, but I'm just going to tell you the starting line and the starting line is whatever, whatever I've highlighted, but I'm not going to go into detail like adding on the numbers of the arrays. 
So first I'm just going to comment it, comment it out of our program just to make sure that it's not interfering with anything. Um, and we're just going to um, paste it. So these are the two ways that, these are the two ways that you can, these are the two other ways that you can create an array. So you just look at it, um, int square brackets number array. Um, we just took number array as an example. Um, you're not actually supposed to type number array. You're supposed to type whatever the name of your array is, and then is equal to, and then in these curly brackets, two, four, six, seven, ten. Um, and what is surprising is this line of code is all this line of code. So this just this one line of code is this whole chunk. But uh, I don't know why, but this chunk is the more so writing this chunk is more common than writing this even though this is way shorter than that but anyway um this is the way number two it's very similar to the first way int square brackets number array or again this could just be anything it should be the name of your array is equal to new int brackets square brackets and in curly brackets you have the um the elements of your list so those are the other two ways that you can create an array. Of course, this is the first way and most common way. But that is also the end of tutorial number eight of the Learn Java for Beginners course. If you liked the video and if you enjoyed it and learned a lot, please subscribe to my channel and leave this video a like and a comment. And I'll be back with tutorial number nine very soon.